What's up, my friends? Got the oldest doing sprints down the street. Playing Mr. Mom a little bit today, or this evening. Wife took my oldest daughter off to prom. Got the little kids in the pool. And just doing a little chilling today, but a lot of time reflecting. I got away to the beach by myself last night and went down to the beach house. No, you know, no kids. Wife stayed here. Went to do a little work at the house, but mainly just get a little time, do a little work on myself. And my question for, for you men out there is like, how often do you do that? Like, are you creating the space? Are you creating that space to get away and connect with God, with nature? You know, spend a little time on the beach. And are you spending that time just getting away and assessing where you're at in life? Because you're not getting any older, my friend. I'm, just, I'm sorry, you're not getting any younger. You're getting older. Okay. And we have to create that space and we have to create that time where we're assessing where we're at, where we've been, and where we want to get to. And man, time is so incredibly, incredibly short. I'm going to go ahead and check on the kids. Time is so incredibly short. And are you really, really like being accountable for all the time that you have, making the most of it? Hold, hold on, hold on, just a second. Are you are you being a good steward with what you've been given, with your talents, with your time, with your money, with your resources, with your family? Take some time, my friend. Like life is fleeting. Like I saw, just saw uh, someone I didn't know very well, but another person passed away that I knew. I saw them just a few months ago. They were 41 years old. And time is fleeting. Say hi, guys. Hi. Time is fleeting. It, it like little grains of sand through the hour glass. And what you don't want to have happen, which is unfortunately the way I believe most of the world lives, is to be. Say hi, Gingy. Say hi, Gingy girl. Is to be sitting there on that deathbed or even not even get that chance and just have a long list of regrets. Long list of shoulda, woulda, couldas. You gotta start attacking that list right now because we are not promised tomorrow. We are just not. So I'm very grateful for the, the time I had last night to get away, spend some time alone with God near the beach, with the ocean, and the waves, and just kind of assess things that are on, on my list, things that I need to get done so I won't have those regrets. Just live each day to its fullest. There's a side of you, there's a side of you, and this was, this was for me too, like there's a side of me that, um, that times goes to sleep a little bit. Yeah, you can go inside. Times goes to sleep a little bit. Meaning, it can be super hard charging, entrepreneur, husband, father, athlete, but at times like I, just, I take a rest, I take a little slumber and a plateau and there's seasons for everything like there's times we need that but sometimes like we hit the snooze alarm a little too much and that's what we got to be careful of so you hitting the snooze alarm and my dog is hairy like shedding hair are you hearing that that alarm going off in your life telling you to wake up but you're not waking up. You gotta wake up, my friend. You have to wake up. Our days are numbered. You are not getting any younger, nor am I. Like I'm, I'm almost 50. 
so maybe I'm at the midway mark, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. I don't want to have regrets. I want to live life to the fullest each and every day. Playing here with my dogs, my kids outside. Where you at? Long list of regrets? Or are you taking action? I hope you are.